Hey guys, welcome back. Well, today we're going to do a subscriber request. I received a question whether I could show you guys how to uh, tweak a JPEG image in Lightroom. Now, typically you would do that with a raw image, but even with a JPEG image, you can get great results. Okay, so let's check it out. Here we go. All right, people. Well, we're in uh, Lightroom uh, CC 2017 to be exact. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to load up a JPEG and we're going to clean that up. All right. Now, uh, first of all, if you have the chance, always shoot in raw format and always edit raw format files. Okay. But if you have a camera that doesn't support raw and you can only shoot in JPEG uh, and you want to clean it up in the in Lightroom, well, that's basically what this tutorial is for. And I've been specifically asked to demonstrate, so here we go, right? So this is the image that I'm gonna work with, and uh, I'm just gonna select that. Uh, let's uh, check that, there we go. And we're gonna click on import. All right, now I'm gonna hover over this and I'm gonna hit my space bar to uh, increase that. And you can see that it's very hazy, it needs a lot of work and not a lot of contrast going on and so forth, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to jump to our uh, develop tab right here and let's uh, give it a sec while that loads up and let's see what we got. Now, first of all, uh, like I said, if you have a raw file, you have a lot more options to choose from, but this is what we got. So we're going to make this work. Okay. Now the white balance to start with, uh, right now it's set as, as a shot. So basically straight out of camera. Let's see if we can do anything here. We got auto and custom. Well, if you have a raw file here, then you can change the Kelvin values and so forth. We do not. So let's just do this manually. Okay. Let's see if we can push up that temperature a little bit to make it look a little bit warmer and that's more suitable for our mountains. So that's good. Tint, we're going to leave that alone. Let's look at the exposure. And as we do so, we're going to look a little bit at our histogram up here, right there. And let's see, I'm going to go with something like that right now the important parts the highlights as we move these up or down you can see that it's mainly affecting the sky and the areas behind it okay like so so i'm going to move it up a little bit and i want the shadows to be quite dark because that will give me a lot more contrast in the front here in my mountain area right so the whites we're going to bring that down a little bit and we're going to Actually, we'll push the black down and we'll push the white up. Like so. Okay. Then let's go to the clarity. We're going to increase clarity, which will give us a lot more definition right there. And then we're going to increase the vibrance. All right. And then finally, we're going to go to the saturation and let's bring that up a little bit as well. Don't go nuts on it. Let's do something like this. You can tweak the curves if you like. Uh, you can change these regions. What we're gonna do is, let's see, we're gonna go down here. And then let's have a look. Okay. So we can increase sharpening a little bit if we like, but I think we're pretty good. So with this all set, pretty basic run through. Let's see what we got. We're gonna hit Y on our keyboard. And here you have the before and the after. So here you can see that even with the JPEG, you can still um, get a lot of improvements. Okay. So if you enjoyed this little video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more in the future, please hit subscribe. And if you've got any questions, let me know. Okay. Well, that said, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.